Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, it's the world of Wayne, and welcome to a brand new week. Now this week's going to be a week of planes, trains, automobiles, terminators and tanks. But we're going to start the week with the next four issues of the Centauri and Panini Collections release of Build the Ferrari, F40, Competizione, <laughs> I can't say it. Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, this is the world of Wayne and welcome to a brand new week. Now this week on the world of Wayne channel, we're going to be having a whole plethora of planes, trains and automobiles with a little sprinkling of Terminators and tanks. So that's going to be all oh, and battleships as well, thinking about it. Uh, but we're going to start the week with the next four issues of Centauria and Panini Collections release of Build the Ferrari F40. One of the issues with part work models is the dust that can accumulate over the build period. Well, part work upgrades are now offering these excellent solution dust covers. Made from a high quality material, ribbed to keep shape, and with matching trim, these are a pleasure to look at. They're also embroidered with the build's logo, which really makes this pop. So whether you're building the Ecto-1 or the DeLorean from the Back to the Future franchise, these are perfect for protecting your build. With many covers already created and more on the way, this is an excellent solution to protect your vehicles during the build. Check out these items and more at partworkupgrades.com. Now before I go into each magazine, I will break this down again into stages so that you can look in the description, you'll be able to click to whatever stage you want to go to. It is worth noting that the instructions for the most part, especially 37, 38, are completely wrong. They put the wrong pictures in, they put the wrong descriptions in, they tell you to refer back to parts from an issue which didn't come in that issue. For example, these bits here, they said come in part 37, but they didn't. I can't tell you what part they come in, but it definitely wasn't part 37. Uh, and we need the stalk for the steering wheel here as well, with all the things on the um, indicators and stuff. Again, they don't actually tell us to put this in in this stage, but we do have to put it in, it just appears. But uh, follow my videos, I'm sure we're not gonna go too far wrong on that. But uh, I think we'll jump right into it. So without further ado, let's get cracking. So as you can see in stage 37, we're going to be using the dashboard again, this section here, we're going to be adding some details to it. Now, as you can see in all of these parts here in stage 37, we don't have any of these like what I mentioned. So bear these in mind for one of the later stages. Uh, we're going to be putting uh, these cylinders in here. Uh, these look like master cylinders here. Once they're all in, that's all there is to do. There's going to be some stuff left over from this pack as well. This is everything in that pack that we're going to have to keep safe. Now the thing about this build is there's absolutely tons of things left over from each stage. I think what I'm going to do is at the very end of the video, I'm going to show you exactly what we have got left over. And the first thing we need are these master cylinders here. Now we've got two right hand side ones and basically that means that the pipe is coming out of the right hand side one of these. And then we've got one left hand side one. And as you can see the pipe's coming out the left side of this one. And all we need to do is bring over the dashboard. And as you can see on the back here, we've got three holes. And that's just all we're gonna do is push these into the holes. So the right hand cylinder first, push it all the way in. So as you can see, the lead is coming out this side. That's the first one in. We do the same with the second one. And that's gonna go into the next one along there, all the way in. And then guess when the third one's gonna go? <laughs> this is the left-hand side cylinder, which means that, as you see, the cable's going the other way now. And that's just gonna go into the third one along here. Now, on over the top of the first two that we've put in, we're gonna be putting some brake fluid cylinders. Now, they're all in this bag here. So I get them out. And we've got two cylinders, as you can see, look the same, and one looking like that. So the two cylinders, first, are gonna go over the top of these sections just here. So I'll put the first one in here. And that's the first one in. Do the same on the second one. Like that. And then the third one looking like that is just gonna go onto the last lug there. Now I'm just straightening them up, but that's what they look like when they're in. And that is all there is to do in that stage. Now before I quit the stage, I just wanna show you what is left. And that is these little decals here and the light. Now 
Now look, how naughty of me in issue 37, I didn't show you the centerfold. There we go, the Ferrari 125S. That's what the centerfold was for 37. Let's see what it is in 38. Oh, we got the Ferrari 166. Look at that. <laughs> Looking pretty good. Um, we are now going to be doing one of the wheels by the look of it. But first of all, that lead that we had in the last stage, which was the lights, we're going to need that because we're going to be plugging the light into the dashboard here. Then it looks like uh, we're going to be putting the stalk on. And this is what I mean. This is the stalk here. I can't remember what issue this come in. But look at the instructions for this. It says insert cable of the instrument panel. It's basically mirrored exactly what it says there. So it doesn't actually tell you to put it in. It just appears. So, uh, But this is the section here that we're going to need to put in. Uh, and then once that's in, we're going to need the fuel tanks that we worked on again in a previous issue. We keep going backwards and forwards in issues because we're going to be putting some details just on the fuel tanks here, which were these. I mentioned last time which in the magazine says they come in issue 37 but we know they didn't so uh, we're going to need those as well so the fact that we have got a rim here made me think that we're going to be doing something to do with the uh tires but i mean you look at it there's nothing in here that we need all of the stuff we've got here does not get used in this stage so i can put that to one side bring over the dashboard here and then just underneath here down here we've got a hole for the LED now this is what the LED looks like this did come in part 37 so I'll just get this unraveled and all they want me to do is poke this into the hole of the dashboard here now this might be a little bit tricky I think I'm going to use some tweezers here just to help me out to get some force to put that in And it should click in, like you heard there, and that's in all the way. As a matter of fact, I should be able to hold it by that and it won't fall out. Now, we need to keep that into place. So to do that, we need the stalk with all the indicators and stuff on. That's going to be going over the top here, facing this way, to keep that into place. Now, I don't know what screws it is to actually put it in, because it doesn't tell us. Now, we've got plenty of T-screws, and that's the ones that's been used mostly. So... I think I'm going to use the T-screws. This pack did come with some screws of its own. But they're black screws. They want us to use silver ones. So I'm guessing it's these ones. That's what I'm using. Let's see if they fit. They seem to fit good. So that's one. So I'm just mirroring the screws that they put in here. In the picture, it's silver screws. So I'm putting T-screws in here. Make sure that one's in nice and tight as well. And there we go. That is the stalk in, looking like that, even though the instructions didn't tell us to do that. <laughs> now we can put that to one side and bring over these two fuel tanks here. And as you can see, these fuel tanks do have a little lug just over the top, and that's ready for these here. Now there is a bracket for something in here. I haven't got a clue what that is, so I'll leave that in there. But all we got to do is take these, holding it that way round, we're just going to put these over the top of these lugs here. So that's one. See what I mean about things being uh, a bit weird with the instructions now. Here's number two. And there we go. They're both in. And that is all there is to do in that stage. So now we've got issue 39. If I turn to the centerfold here, as you can see, we've got the Ferrari 340 375 looking like that. Uh, and we're basically going to be using all the parts that we didn't use last time by creating the tyre. Now, it doesn't tell us any reference to actually putting them in water here. So uh, I think all of my car builds are blending into one. They're saying just put this over the top, but we'll see if that's possible uh, when we do this stage. So let's get on with this one. So there are some parts that aren't used in this, like these little tiny springs. Once again, I'm gonna to have to keep that to one side. We've got some B screws here. Not sure what they're for. We do use this in this section, and we have got the hub in this section as well. We've also got some R screws from last time as well. So we're gonna take the rim 
facing this way and we're going to be putting this ring in with all of these lugs facing down so only two lugs are facing out we just want to marry it so that these two indents here are matching the indents that we've got on the part here so when we put it in it will fit perfectly flush in there like that we then got the hub to put on looking like that and that's just going to go down the center here again lining up these holes and the lugs on that ring that we put in is going to help us to line this up perfectly like that and then it's going to be held in with three of the b screws so there is a use for these b screws <laughs> so get them in here's the first one that's one second one here that's number two and then lastly number three just at the other side here that's excellent now we're going to take the tire which has got some sponge inside it as well which is going to give it that realistic feel uh, of it being inflated and this is going to go over the top of this now uh, we don't this says don't use water on this so i'm just going to try and push it on and see what happens it is stretchy, so it looks like we don't need water at all. Yeah, we can just put this on. We have made one before, so put that all the way on. Make sure it's inside the rim. So I'm just doing that all the way around. Pinching it in. I think the last couple is going to be a little bit hard. There we go, and there we go. That pushing it over a bit more is the tire in that was easy wasn't it <laughs> why did I think we needed to use water for that uh, but that is all there is to do in that stage and then the last thing we're going to do in issue 40 show you the center folds ferrari 375 plus looking like that and what we're going to do by the look of it is all to do with the brakes and calipers again so this is going to be a nice quick stage as a matter of fact those four stages we've just whizzed through haven't we so let's open the bag get everything out here so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this side of the disc and we're going to push them together now as you can see we've got some holes in here we want to ho line up these holes not the holes that you can see on this side the holes on this side this is going to be a bit tricky line them up so that we can actually push all of these in i think that's good there two three four there we go that's the disc in place so it should be even all the way around there we're then going to take the other side of the caliper here and we're just going to put that into the holes that we've got this side again no glues needed here it's just a push to fit Make sure that's pushed in completely. Like that. And there we go. That does look uh, impressive there, doesn't it? And then all we have to do is take the outer part of the brake here, looking like that. And that's just going to go those four lugs there into the holes that we can see around the brake disc that we put in there. So push that in. Just like that. And there you go. That is another brake disc and caliper all in. That's all there is to do in that stage that's all there is to do in that pack but i'm not going to leave it there i want to lay out everything that we have got at the moment for this build so as you can see i've moved the camera out and i think we'll start with the caliper there then we've got the fuel tanks two of them then we've got a tire we've got the dashboard here it's going to build up quite quickly this is we've got these details here not sure when we're going to be using them we've got some more details or a bracket here not sure when we're using that I've got some T-screws, which I'm not sure when I'm going to use that. I've got these tiny little springs. I'm not sure when I'm using that. I've got a spare B. I think that's just a spare uh, screw, actually. And we've got some R-screws. So let's open the box and see what's in that. Probably best on the side camera, but I've got the floor pan that we worked on with all the uh, control boards in there. I've got another tyre, which I'll put on top of that one. I've got two seats which I'll put just there. No idea what these are, but we seem to have some brackets or some pipe work or I don't know, but they're those, there's three of them. We've got the front of the vehicle there, which I will put there. 
we got the collars here and we have got a Ferrari emblem in there. Let's put that there. Some more T screws, I'll add that to the collection. Looks like an air intake there. Put that there. We've got another brake and caliper there. We've got uh, another, is that an air intake as well? I'm confused, but there we go, that one there. Some more of these and some more of these intakes here. <laughs> we've got lots. Look, we've got, that looks like a steering rod to me. So we've got a steering rod, put that there. Some pipes or some pipe work there. Again, don't know where that goes. <laughs> and then the last thing we've got, again, I'll show you on the side camera, is the engine. But <laughs> if I just put that down there, that's everything so far of this Ferrari build. And uh, yeah, do you remember, do you remember that scene in Ferris Bueller's Day Off where Cameron Fry trashes his dad's Ferrari? There you go. <laughs> that's crazy. There's so many bits left over that we're not doing anything with. But I'm hoping that will change soon. And there wasn't really much to do in this one. But I really do hope you liked that video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. As I said, there's a plethora of things this week, probably culminating with the leopard tank. But I really do hope you liked that video. Take care.